Studying abroad is a great way to broaden your horizons and enhance your learning experience. Studying abroad was a whole new experience. It's amazing. It really helped my learning in that I was experiencing these places that I was studying about. Um, so I was able to go travelling and I was experiencing um, the people that I've been reading about in books for all my life. It was really easy to apply. On the Southampton side, we just had to submit um, a CV and like a short little document of what we had achieved so far. Um, once they approved it, they then helped us apply to Singapore. And the Singaporeans too were really helpful. They told us what we needed to do, where and when. Um, yeah, no, it was a very easy process. You get the chance to learn at world-class universities in Europe and internationally. There's a choice of cutting-edge geography modules that complement what you're studying here at Southampton, looking at things such as climate change, poverty, and global recession. Studying in Singapore let me see things from a whole different perspective. Previously I'd always seen things from a Western perspective but by being taught by the Singaporean teacher meant that I was actually seeing things from this developing country rather than a developed country. It was more than just a Western perspective. They took into account obviously Western values and they also took into account the Asian values as well and to see them both sort of brought together really sort of also opened your eyes as well. Um, but yeah it was a new experience, a new way of learning. Um, it was just really really great. It, Round you more as a person as well, because you think of things differently. And if you decide to study abroad, you're never alone. From the minute you apply, there's a dedicated person within the geography department there to help you. And even when you're in another country, there's always someone on the other end of the phone or video call. The University of Southampton were really supportive in me going abroad. There was always someone there for me. Um, I had my personal tutor if I had any problems and um, all the lecturers were always there to email them, they'd get back to us within a couple of days and um, the geography office were also really helpful if we had questions about administration and that sort of thing, they always knew the answer. During the process of our exchange we were also meant to be starting dissertations, which obviously is quite a big thing, and um, they were great, we were given supervisors, they Skype, Skyped us, we had Skype meetings, or any, if we had any problems with them we could email them and they'd reply within a few days. The host universities go out of their way to make you feel welcome and there are lots of exchange clubs you can join to meet students who are all in the same boat as you. The University of Singapore was very um, supportive of us. If we had any issues we could go to them um, and they would quite happily explain, they'd teach us through the process. A lot of the lecturers there were also non-Singaporeans, some of them were from England, so they were quite happy to sit us down and explain what the process was, what we had to do, because they remembered what it was like their first time being there and not knowing what to do. There are blogs written by former exchange students where you can pick up top tips on how best to spend your time. There's always someone around you can talk to. There are people from America, Japan, Europe, from all walks of life. And I think meeting so many different people from, from that really, yeah, that shapes you. That was, in a nutshell, the most unforgettable bit. I met so many nice people whilst I was out there, which made it unforgettable. Just so many laughs and so much fun times that I will always remember this. All your host institution fees are waived, plus there are scholarships and grants available to help cover travel and living expenses. You really can travel the world to Australia, Canada, Singapore, or maybe stay a bit closer to home and go to somewhere in Europe. Wherever you choose, you know you're going to receive fantastic teaching and courses that really add a different dimension to your degree. I also had the opportunity to go to Australia afterwards. I went to Perth, all up the west coast, um, to Alice Springs, to see Ayers Rock, and then up to Darwin again. Um, and I got to camp in the outback, um, try everything I possibly could, see some of the national parks, see some natural wonders. It was a truly humble and incredible experience. I'm very thankful for having that opportunity to do that. It was great because I managed to experience so many new places and meet so many new people. Um, I went to the Philippines and Cambodia and Malaysia. Um, what I particularly enjoyed was in Philippines, I got to go with a charity organisation. We went to some rural communities and we met people out there, which was definitely an experience I'm glad I had. Living in another country can give you the chance to improve your language skills, make new friends, and it looks great on your CV. The experiences I had definitely helped me with employability. Um, being able to write in my CV that I'm such an outgoing person that I went out there and I did something like live abroad for six months where you, you don't really know anyone, you don't know what you're doing when you turn up and having the confidence and being able to go out and do that I think is definitely something that employers are looking for. The only question left is, why wouldn't you go? 
For people considering studying abroad, I'd say definitely go for it. It's so worth it. The memories I have and the experiences I will always keep with me is something I'm never going to experience again and I'm really glad I did it. I want to keep on travelling, um, maybe work abroad, work in the foreign office to experience more cultures and more ways of thinking. It's it definitely opened my eyes to a few new things.